Tommy Paul versus Nicholas Jarry is the second semi-final for the men's Rome Masters for 2024. Both guys were not expected to get this far. Jarry entered the tournament as the number 21 seed. Got a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Anaudi. And for a close second set, we'll get through in straights. 6-2, 7-6. In the third round, he take on the wild card, Napolitano. And this was a battle. After dropping the second set, Jarry would fight back to win. 6-2, 4-6, 6-4 to advance to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he take on the qualifier, Muller, who had taken out Feast and Rublev along the way. And after a close first set, Jarry would win in straights. 7-6, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Jerry would take on City Pass, the number six seed, who'd been very impressive this week. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 3 6, 7 5, 6 4, to advance to the semi finals. Paul entered the tournament as the number 14 seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Karatsev. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 4, 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on Kopfa, who'd just beaten Tiafo in the previous round. And again, no problem for Paul getting through in straights. 6 4, 6 3. In the fourth round, he'd take the number two seed and defending champion Daniel Medvedev, who had battled to get to this stage. And again, no problem for Paul getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Paul would take on Hercash, number seven seed, who really started to do well on clay this season. And after slitting the first two sets, Paul would win in three. 7-5, 3-6, 6-3 to advance to the semifinals. These two guys have only played one time before. That was actually last year at Roland Garros with Jarry getting a four-set win. So it's going to be really fun to see them play on clay again and to see whether or not Paul can reverse the result because he has been very good on clay this week. But Jarry will have that confidence. Taking a look at the shot quality, Quality for this one, thanks to Tennis Insights. Jerry leads the serve shot quality on a 9.0 compared to Paul's 7.4. But Paul is on the returns a little bit better with a 6.3 to a 6.0 compared to Jerry. Jerry just leads the forehand shot quality with a 6.7 with a 7.6 compared to a 7.5 for Paul. Paul has the backhand with a 7.0 to Jerry 6.2. So very, very evenly matched overall. But just like with her catch, it's going to come down to Paul's returns against Jerry's big serve. And the shot quality is calculated in real time time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. What a great matchup. So much fun to see these guys going at two different guys as well. We haven't seen these guys playing for their first Masters 1000 final, but I've got to go with Jerry in this one. I just feel like the South American clay court ability is just a little bit better. I know Paul won a French Open Juniors, but I've got to go with Jerry in this one, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.